Hello guys, it is Jess. Welcome back to part three and the final part in our how to build a small house tutorial helper out of thingamabob. Now, I goofed a little bit and I accidentally deleted the original house. So I rebuilt it and I'm pretty sure that I rebuilt it correctly. So if it looks a little bit different, I apologize. But I tried my best. So I think we're like where we left off. But, you know, if there's a small difference, sorry 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 but anyway let's get into it so let's start off let's start off with the bathroom i actually really like doing bathrooms and oh you know what i just noticed i remembered something i think did i have the bath no i didn't okay don't worry ignore me i thought i did had the bathroom different but the bathroom is correct okay so first of all i have put in the um like wallpaper and stuff these two are base game and as far as like base game goes, these are my favorite ones to use because it seems to be like one of the only combinations that actually matches. So that's why I use those two. It comes in a variety of colors. So when I do bathrooms, I like this size, this one has no windows in it. So it does depend on the windows and stuff. But because this bathroom has no windows in it, I will... I'm just trying to think. It's probably not big enough to put a shower in. If you don't have windows, you want to try and fill up the walls a little bit more so you could put in like a double shower. But in this instance, there's just not going to be enough room. So what we're going to do is we're going to put in just a single shower. I'm just going to put in this one because it's nice. I'm also going to turn on my BB dot move objects. Okay. So what I like to do is usually when I have a bathroom of this configuration I'm going to put two things here and then one thing there so in this case I'm going to put the sink over here and then I'm going to put the toilet there so any old sink I actually really like this sink in base game I think it's really nice and you can make it like the all white swatch and I just think it looks really nice so I'm going to put that one there and then I'm going to put the toilet here. So there's no hard and fast rules for the bathrooms, but I try and kind of, I guess I put like two of two together and one separate. That's like a common thing that I do and it kind of works, I think. So then what I'm going to do is above the toilet, I always like to put either something like this or a light once again just depending um in this bathroom i'm just going to put this above the toilet and then i also like to put in the little toilet paper holder because i feel like it just really adds to the bathroom so that is like that wall done and i'm happy with that and then i'm come over here and i'm going to put in a mirror so pop that one there that is that wall done and then i feel like we just need something along here so that's when i go in and just put like a little towel there you've got to be careful where you put these towels because if you put this towel over here sometimes the sim can't get into that bathroom because yeah i don't know it's a bit random um and then sometimes if i feel like there is like an empty wall i want to fill um what i tend to do in bathrooms is i put in like a light so something like that um, or I like to put in a painting, like something like that, I think sort of looks cute. For me personally in this bathroom, I think it's good, but just bear in mind that like these are really good ways to fill up bathroom space. And then you can also put a little rug in. I don't tend to put rugs in my bathrooms that often, but let's put one in this one for the, you know, heck of it. Um, let's make that one little and kind of just put it there like a bathroom mat. And that is quite nice. That's the bathroom. All right, let's move on to the study. So, once again, the placement of things does depend a little bit on what walls are free. So I like to put a desk against a blank wall. And I also like to put a bookshelf in as well. So I think I will put like a desk here and then a bookshelf over here. Because you kind of want to fill in blank walls with furniture because you can't... It's easier to fill them in with furniture than it is to fill them in with like paintings and stuff. So I'm going to go with a desk. I'm just trying to go with the flow of the house. I think this is more of like a classic house, not so much a um, like modern home. So I'm going to go with this mega desk. I'm going to put that there. And then I'm probably going to put a light up there to fill in that space. 
and then when you have like a long wall like this I feel like you just really need to try and fill that up so if we were to put like as an example two paintings there then you have like that bit there free and it looks kind of funny but then say we went and put in a light there then I kind of feel like once again it, it, oh actually that looks okay but what I feel looks better is if you break up the middle of it so it's like two separate sections so one thing that I'm going to do just to improve this I'm going to move these over a little bit leave that lamp there and then I'm just going to put a tall plant in so if you put just something like that I feel like it just breaks up that space a little bit more and it just it looks a little bit better um another way that you could fill up this whole wall is instead of putting the paintings there I'm just going to move them don't put them there that's just there for the time being uh you could put your bookshelf there as well and you could kind of have it I probably wouldn't do that bookshelf, it's a little bit large, but maybe sort of a bookshelf like that and then a plant there. And then once again, that's a really cool way to fill in that space. Um, but given that we have this, you know, style of lounge room or whatever, oh, I said lounge room, I meant study. I'm going to go like that. Um, depending what packs you have, something that does, I think, look really good in studies is if you have... Um, the little ottoman thingies that you can kind of put there. You could also just put like a little chair there if you wanted to, but that's not just going to work with that archway. Because if you notice, it'll look a little bit funny. So for this study, I'm just going to leave it like that. And I like it. I think it's like simple yet effective. So then I'm going to go in with a study chair. There's not really a way to pick that. You just pick the one that you like. I actually really like that one. I don't know why. I just really do. So I'd like to just get all the furniture in first. So I'm going to put in a bookshelf. Now I'm thinking that the bookshelf, that one's going to be a little bit too big. So I'm probably going to go with like this bookshelf in a white swatch. So it could go there or it could go there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the bookshelf there on just like a little bit of an angle. And then over here, I'm going to put the easel. So filling up space in studies, I like to put in like an easel, um, like a punching bag, I think fills the space in pretty well. Um, if you have heaps of room, you could put like a piano in there. You can put a treadmill in there. Um, but one thing I really like doing is like a little artist area. So I'm just going to put that in there. And then if we come into the decorations there should be I can never find it ah yeah like something like this once again depending on the space you could put one of those in you can also like size that down and kind of just put that behind like that I kind of think that it looks cool if it's a bit of a messier styled painting area so I'm gonna just put that one there got our bookshelf at a bit of an angle there um and what we could also do if we wanted to was put like a plant there as well um that would be like two plants in one room but honestly if in doubt just put a plant there that's my little motto um so yeah that's like the basic study i really like it and then we're just going to fill in the desk so what i like to do this kind of gets a little bit kind of annoying i suppose but to fill this top shelf this is what i like to do so you come into the decorations and you get these um, vintage books. So what you want to do is you kind of need to put it, if you put it there, it's going to like snap on. So you can just fill that space there. So it has like nowhere to snap on. So once you've filled those three points, then you have nowhere else to put it. So we can start placing things easier. So I'm going to press nine on my keyboard to raise the object up. Make sure you have your move objects cheat on or it won't work and I'm going to put these books here like so um, and then I'm just going to keep on doing that I either sometimes I think like doing them all the way across looks good otherwise I'll just do them you know like part of the way like so and like that and then over this side I'm going to put you know like a photo frame once again you might want to just like put things down so that the slots are taken up so you don't have to worry about it snapping randomly. Um, another thing that you can do is if you hold it underneath, so hold it sort of underneath and position it right, then it'll let you do it as well. But you have to be careful because if you kind of go 
to the wrong spot yeah there you go it'll snap back again so it can be a little bit fiddly doing this but the easiest thing is honestly just shoving a whole bunch of other stuff there so it can't snap onto things so i'm gonna put that probably there um i'm going to put I like to put a little plant up there and like a tissue box. So just like a few little knickknacks always looks good. Size that down one. And something else that always looks really cute up here in my opinion is um, a light. And if you have dine out pack, there's a really cute little flower. Or you could put like your single rose up there or something. Um, for this one, I'm probably just going to stick with that and that. So now I've done that, I'll delete all the rest of this. So now we just want to fill in like the bottom part of this desk. So I like to always do, it's kind of a thing I do, I do like a um, pen holder. Once again, just kind of hold it like under the desk. Um, it's easier to do it on that part than the upper part, but if you just sort of hold it under the desk like that, you can put that in there. And then either a tissue box, I think always looks kind of good. You could also put like the tissue box up there. That looks kind of good. And then another thing that you can do is um, to fill that space in. I like to put in fish tanks. I think that, I don't know, they just look cool. Once again, just like depending on the desk and what other furniture and decorations that you have on top of it. So for this build, I'm just going to leave it like that. I think it looks good with a nice little clean space. And I am going to put in a rug. I'm probably just going to do like something like this blue one and just size it down and put it in the middle like that. I think that that looks pretty cute. I quite like that rug. And I will probably put curtains in this room. I'll go with like the blue curtains to match the rug. And there we have it. That is the study. So next up, we are going to be doing the bedroom. So bedrooms, um, probably not my favorite room, to be honest. Uh, I feel like you want to, it kind of depends with beds. Um, depending on the bed you have, like if you have, say, a bed like that, I think that looks okay underneath a window like that. But then if you wanted to go like a larger bed frame like that, I feel like it looks kind of funny. So decide what wall to put your bed on based by like the bed itself. So this kind of bed is the one I'm going to use. And I think it's just going to look better if we put it next to this wall instead. So we've got two options. We can put the bed there and then we could put our bedside table like there. Well, the other thing is we can put the bed there and this is like a little thing that I really like to do in bedrooms. If we come here to surfaces and get something like that, and I like to put these little like mock shelves in like that. So one there and then sort of one there. And I don't know why, I just like it. I think it looks really cool. So that's what we're going to do for this one. Um, I'm going to just pick what colour. I think I want, yeah, like a plain light swatch um let's go that one will do oh maybe not try and just find a swatch that like matches these shells that's like one thing really lacking in the sims is the fact that the swatches just never match it's, it's very annoying i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna lie so i'm just gonna put like a few little nicky nacky kind of things like some photo frames and a tissue box um that kind of jazz some little books always looks good um if you put the walls cut away it can be a little bit easier just to get the right angle um so just a few little knickknack items there and then above the bed i'm going to put a light sometimes i think you can put like a painting but i don't know i feel like that's like too much and it looks a bit funny so in this instance i think that a light looks better i think that one looks good and i also really like that one that one's a little bit more simple so i'll probably go with the larger one just to fill up that wall space all right so now we need to put in our chest of drawers so we could probably put them there or we can put them across here so i'm probably going to put them across here to fill in like that space over there um try and get sort of ones that match so i'm gonna do that <clears throat> and then when you have like a little funny i guess like space like that there i like to put a mirror there so i'm gonna put a wall mirror there 
to try to find one that kind of I kind of like to put the mirror like off center um I don't know why it's just something I really like to do I think it looks cool but hmm I have to say, like, I think that the base game is amazing, but one thing that base game lacks a little bit is mirrors. In fact, even with packs, I think mirrors are lacking. So I'm going to show you something else that I usually do. And I kind of put this mirror there. So it looks like it's kind of sticking up from the um, thing. Like, it kind of looks like a, like a tabletop mirror. So we're going to do that. And then on the right-hand side, I'm going to fill that space in with a flower. Um, you could put like a bigger one in or, you know, one like that. I really like those flowers though. So I'm going to use those ones. Um, these daisies are also really, really nice. And then I'm going to put uh, some clutter items over here. I'm going to try and make this look like sort of a vanity kind of area, like where you'd get ready and stuff. So depending on your packs, just try and find things that look like someone might be getting ready there. So I think that sort of that kind of stuff... Um, I'm just trying to think, like some perfumes. So I'm gonna probably put the perfumes like there, maybe, and maybe like the maybe not the men's cologne. Maybe if I just keep it with those two items. So kind of like that and then you kind of have this little like getting ready area here and then you have like your nice little plant there whoops press the wrong button um and then if you feel like there's a little gap there sometimes i think you can get away with like putting like a little photo there i think it kind of looks cute and i quite like it so that's our little drawer area and i just think it's a nice way to kind of fill in that space tops of like cabinets and stuff are really hard to fill in my opinion um so over this side I'm going to put in a bookshelf when I have like an awkward shape where I don't have like enough room for something like that size but it's too much space to leave blank I like to put bookshelves in because they're really nice and skinny so you can put that bookshelf would go really nicely there or that bookshelf would too I'm going to use this bookshelf so I can just use up a little bit more of the space and then that sort of bit there I'm going to fill in with you guessed it a plant plants that save the day from everything so put the plant in there um something else that you can do is like make your own little like makeup table if you get something like this and then you can kind of do similar to what you did over here and fill it with like makeup stuff that would go really nicely against there as well so that's like an option and then the last thing I put in bedrooms because it fills the space really nicely is a mirror. So I'm going to put the mirror in there. And then we could even like put a plant there. In fact, no, we're not going to put a plant there. What we're going to put there is a chair. If you have those little ottomans, once again, they're really handy. They come in the ooh, movie hangout stuff and they also come in the... Um, called city living a little ottoman would go really nicely there but because we don't have that I'm going to probably just put a chair there so it kind of looks like you know where you might get ready and then something else that you can add and I think it just kind of looks adds a bit of detail depending you can put like a little pile of laundry there so it's like you can tell where they've been getting ready um yeah and I'm gonna put curtains in too so I'm just gonna go plain Jane curtains like so and then if you kind of don't like how that's like that, you can just sort of move that away if you want. To be honest, that kind of doesn't bother me. Um, but oh, like sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Today, it's not really bothering me. We could also just, you know, oh, how'd I get those? I didn't mean to. We could also just get like different curtains or, you know, go with like curtains like that or something. But to be honest, it's not really bothering me. So I'm just going to leave it like that. Um, now... I'm going to put a rug into this room. I'm going to go with like kind of a pinky rug because I feel like it could bring out these colours and these colours. So I kind of think a rug like that. Ooh, actually, you know what? That doesn't look good. <laughs> Maybe not that colour. Hmm. Maybe just a plain sort of rug. I don't know, actually. This is a hard colour scheme, I have to say. Ooh. Um, if in doubt, honestly, just go like plain. 
So I might do just like a big round plain rug. And what I'm going to do is to add some extra color into this room is I'm going to change the wall colors because I feel like it's a little bit too bland at the moment. So that's another way that you can bring color into a room is by changing the wall color. So if we kind of put like a nice soft blue, it just already kind of brightens up that room a little bit and makes everything pop a little bit more so I'm gonna leave it as that blue color and then we can even change the rug if we wanted to to like a nice light blue and then it brings a little bit more life into the room but I'm just gonna leave it like that um, you can also check other rug combinations if you wanted to I'm just trying to think if there's a better color mm, maybe not um, That one actually looks pretty good. We might go... Oh, didn't mean to do that. Might go with that one instead. Mm, no, you know what? I'm not going to put a rug in this room at all. It just doesn't suit. I'm just going to leave it as is because I like... I actually just like it how it is. So we'll just leave it like that. But remember, guys, like you can experiment as much as you want with colours. In some ways, like the more colourful, the better, to be honest. So on to our final room. And this is a really odd shaped room. This is like the spare bedroom. Let's make it a kid's room. So odd shaped bedrooms, I actually think that they're better to furnish. Sometimes when you just have like a square bedroom with four walls, it makes it more difficult to furnish in my opinion. When you have like all these little bits here, you can just play around with it and like add different things in. I think it's a lot better. So we're going to make it a kid's room. Um, the kid's furniture is really good because it actually all matches. So my favourite colour is this one. It's like that sort of middle blue and that's my colour. So I'm going to put that in and I'm going to put in that one there. Now with the kids' beds, I usually put in a, if I can find it, I love putting fish tanks into the kids' bedrooms. I just think it's really cute. So I'm going to put a fish tank on that bedside table and it just fills up the whole bedside table really nicely. And then above that we can put a lamp. Um, now, depending what pack you have, you might have the monster under the bed and need to put that, this, is it this one? The Defender Ugly Wall Light thing, you might want to put that there. Which I think looks pretty good. But I want a different light because oh, that monster under the bed annoys me so much. You can get like a mod to get rid of it, which is good. Um, like that one would look nice. But I think after I complained about the ugliness of the light. No, I want to put that one in. No, I don't. I'm going to put the ugly light there after all. Um, because then being a kid's room, I like to clutter them up a little bit more. So when we have like this space here I like to fill that with like posters so you can get like this and there's a little calendar and everything um, and then once again depending what packs you have there's all sorts of little knickknack things that you can put up there um, you can also just get like some of these posters and sort of put them there and you can kind of like overlap them like that um, kind of go like that and another thing that I think looks good is um, the like award ribbons. We can put that there. And then you kind of just have this cool little way of filling in that space. So in case you haven't noticed or I haven't mentioned, I tend to like look at one side of the room and fill that, make that side look good. Then I focus on the next side and I just try and make it look good from like all angles if possible. So facing this way now, I'm going to put some curtains in like so and I'm going to be putting in a toy I think here we could put in a teddy bear it's a good one to use I feel like that one's good because it's nice and plain so we'll just use that one so if we put that there and then we want something kind of there so that's when I probably put in a little light So I like the look of it from that angle. Now we're going to turn around here. So I probably will put here maybe a dollhouse because we need to put some drawers somewhere as well. So let's put a dollhouse here. So we'll go back to the toys. You can size it down now as well. So I'm going to put like a normal size dollhouse there. And I'm going to put some paintings above. I really love these little kitty paintings. I wish that they made square paintings like this 
that were actually like not kitty so that you could put them around the house because I think that they're some of the most useful paintings ever they're just perfect in fact you know what maybe I could make some um yeah okay so that's that uh, I think that when we look at it from this angle we definitely need something here on this wall so I think that you could put something like that there um the only problem is the swatches are a little bit off but once again being a kid's room like when you were a kid did you care if anything matched I know that I didn't so the, you know you could do something like that another thing I like to do is these wall dec decals decal 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 however you say it you can put a tree there <laughs> um or we could do like a little blue tree which would match the room which would be totally adorable um and then i like to get the clouds up here and just kind of put the clouds there and you can make them a little bit smaller and i just think that that looks really cute and you know what i am gonna make it that color so we've got that done there now here we need something so i'm going to put a chest of drawers and once again because it's the toddler oh, the toddler pack the kid stuff i mean um matches woohoo so i'm gonna put that there okay now that means that we can't really put anything there because it'll block that so we'll probably put like a painting on that side and then some sort of item or object on that side so we could probably put a bookshelf on that side i'd probably face it that way so you've got that nice little walkway and then if we go to surfaces again i'm hoping that this yes yes we can put like that there and then we can put something up there it's like their little shelf when they walk in from wherever they walk in from so okay we've got those down let's get decorated so i'm going to put walls down for this just so we can see it a little bit better um now this is a little bit dark in this corner here so let's put a another light there and then that's a nice little way of filling that up um light there we go i guess we should probably just go with the same light that we already have in the room that would make more sense of course i can't find it right now where is it i know oh there we go i knew i was looking at it so we'll put that there once again i'm probably going to put that off to the side a little bit and then put a mirror against that there like that so yeah i think that that looks cute and then once again i'm going to put something sort of like decorative over that side and then like some little makeup y kind of things i don't know but when i was like a kid i didn't like wear makeup or anything but i liked having lots of nail polishes and just like little silly kind of things like that you know when you kind of like want to be an adult so i'd do that a little bit so once again i'm just gonna like chuck these up there to fill in those spaces so we can place stuff wherever we want so let me think so for the decorative side i think that putting books down always looks pretty good so i usually go with like these little like school books and put them say back there you can actually size that down so you can see what you're doing um that looks a little bit easier then um <clears throat> little photo frame is always like another good idea so we could put oh, stuff the photo frame i can't be bothered fiddling around with it <laughs> um but on this side like i'm going to do these little nail polishes because like as i said when i was little i used to love just having like grown-up stuff around and i did have like a little perfume in my bedroom as well and i know my sister did so i'm going to put that there as well i'm going to make it like a little bit messy because i'm thinking like kids are a little bit messy messy i know that i was as a child um so I'm put that there so yeah, that's just kind of like a little girly grown up thing. And I actually really like that. Whatever that thing is there, I'm going to keep that there. It just sort of, I don't know, it looks like something sort of decorative. So I'm going to keep that there, which is totally random, but I really like it. Um, and then I just want to put like one more little decorative thing over that side. So I'm kind of thinking if you come to these little sculptures, there's a cute little ladybug that I think looks adorable. I never find it either. Um, cars are really good things to put up there if it's like a boy's room or even if it's a girl's room. I had a car collection when I was younger. I was obsessed with little toy cars and I had a car mat and it was just like 
the best thing ever. Um, now I'm trying to find this stupid ladybug. Oh, this happens all the time. Here it is. So we're going to put little Lizzie ladybug there. I'm going to size her down a little bit. And just chuck her there. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. And then, yeah, we've got our cute little sort of messy, kiddish kind of dresser there. And I'm just going to put another right there. And there we have it. That's the kids' room. Um, we can also put some little floor mats in. I think it's cute to put like one here and one here. So like something like, oh, none of these swatches match. Oh, actually, see, like that looks kind of cool. Like if we just sort of put that like there or there. And then we can put in like another rug sort of there. We can make it small or something I like to do and just do it like a little mat there I used to have one of those as well when I was little it's kind of pointless now that I'm thinking about it but I always had this random little like rug right next to my bed and that's where I would put my slippers at the end of the night yeah that's a little random fun fact so I do sometimes from time to time like doing just little rugs there because it reminds me of when I was a little tot so we're just gonna put a little one there and that's our kids room so we have one more thing to do and that is the backyard okay so we're gonna remove the floor oh the backyard just went all together then i just want to remove the floor there we go all right so this is only a little backyard so what we might do at this point is let's put some foundations up foundations are easy to put up sort of towards the end because otherwise um it's hard to put the plants down because they want to go like to the level of the foundation so i think i'll just put a few little plants here so before i do just put those foundations up i'm just going to fill this gap in here with actually i'm going to do something totally different for that bit there remove that that way okay so let's put this on a foundation all right oh i hate when that happens all right put that fence back in okay so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna put some stairs in oh bugger Oh my gosh. There we go. All right. Our little baby backyard. It is a very baby backyard, actually. But anyways, I'm going to put some stairs in. Um, I usually just go with these stairs because they're the first ones and they're plain. So I'm going to put stairs there. And then what I'm going to do is sometimes when you have like a weird, awkward area like this, you should put in or you can put in a pair of stairs. Are they a pair of stairs? A flight of stairs? Some stairs? I don't know. Um, I like to put columns in like on the corners and then at every kind of like space or opening if that makes sense so i'm gonna put the stairs there and then see i've sort of done the same thing here so i'm just gonna put more stairs there and all right cool beans so i'm gonna put that there and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get a fence and Ooh, see fences that kind of matches like it matches enough to be honest because these ones are like too short that one doesn't match at all this one does match except it's got like a random blue gate on it so I'm probably gonna go for the one that I just had before yeah because that's too short I'm gonna go for that one okie dokie so I'm probably just gonna get rid of that what I think kind of looks cool is we can put in this bit here. So it's like a side gate. And what I like to do with my side gates is I'm just going to kind of put that there. I'm just going to sort of fill in this area here just a tidge more. I'm going to just put that there. And that there. Um, actually, I'm just going to put a rock there. Alright, so I'm going to put in the garbage bins. So it's kind of like you go out the side gate and you put the garbage out. 
So I'm going to put two garbage bins there. And then next to a garbage bin, for some reason, I like to put a little lonely plant because I just think it kind of fills the gap in nicely. So I'm going to put that there. And then I'm going to go into terrain paint. And I'm just going to get this and put that there. So it's like a little, you know, area. And then put that there. So it really just looks like this little cobbled side gate area. And something else that you can actually do is kind of have it coming around from the front. Like that. I always think that that just looks really cute. So it's just kind of like this little reaching out to the side gate. And then I can't remember if we said we're going to put a tree in here. But I do think that a tree looks good sort of in and around this kind of area. So you could put like a little tree there. I actually think that looks really cute. I'm going to leave the tree there. But because there's not really much space along the side here, I do think that it looks better without the side cobblestone. So I'm just going to for now delete um, that part, but leave it there because I think it looks good there. So that's how I'm going to fill in that little space. And then we still have this little square here. So I'm just going to put in some pot plants so you can kind of make your own pot plants I kind of like to put in like a little pot plant collection so you'd go one of those and then a smaller one of those and then if you go into decorations and you get like in the plants I think you can get one of them you can make that bigger is that too big yeah it looks ridiculous <laughs> make that a bit smaller and just sort of like arrange these kind of haphazardly if you want and then maybe put, um, like this one's a really good one. Let me get rid of that one. Because it's kind of like a little tin. And then there's another really good one. Yeah, like the little watering can. So just something like that. And then you can put some of these plants, like, actually in these pots. Let's make it a bit smaller. Um, make that smaller. And then we've just got like our little pot plant area. This is something that my grandma would do. She's a very, you know, green thumb kind of lady. And she's got like pot plants everywhere. So I call this like the grandma's pot plants. Or, I mean, I don't really ever call it that. I just made that up then. But you get what I mean. So that's like a cool little way, I think, just to fill in like a random little gap there. You could also just put plants there. But I like my little pot plant collection. All right. So now we're just going to focus here. So, something that I think looks really good either side of a door is little lights. So, we'll put a light there and a light there. And then a barbecue. Barbecue fills in space really nicely. So, if we just do like a barbecue there plus the two lights. Or we could do one light there and then one light above the barbecue. That works really nicely as well. Like so. I'm a little back doormat. Again, it just adds to the house. We do like that. And then what we can put there is we can put a pot plant again. Um, just trying to think. If you have like pet stuff, a little pet thing goes really nicely there. Otherwise, you could put a trash can there. Um, you could put that there, but maybe not. I think I'm going to leave that bare for now because I don't really have anything else to put there. But then we're going to move on to the, um, like, actually doing the garden area. So there are, like, two things that I tend to always put in gardens. I'm just going to do this. can't remember if I, I think I've already done that in the front build. Anyway, um, so I like to make a little, like, seating area. So I'm going to put... I like to have like a seating area and then like still some garden around the fence. So for this one here, I'm going to put like a little sort of area for your sims to eat here, like a little stoned area. And then I'm going to have grass and, and plants and stuff everywhere else. So I'm just going to go and get the tables and chairs. I like this one. And I tend to just put that like in the middle of that eating area. That is not in the middle. That's better. Um, yeah, put that in the middle of the eating area. So they've kind of got like that space there. And then I like to put a tree on one side and the easel. Oh, that's not an easel, Jess. Come on, girl. That's the um, monkey bars. That's it. I need to make them smaller for this build. But I like to put the monkey bars down 
and I'm actually going to put the tree on the same side as the monkey bars. So you kind of do, this is a thing that I always do. So do the monkey bars and then you put a tree down like that and then a couple plants around that tree. So you've got like your little kid zone here. Oh, why do you test me so? Okay, there we go. So I like to size that down. That usually looks good there. And then sort of just something like that and like, you know, a little plant behind there or some little flowers. Just like making it look just a tad overgrown in that corner. So that looks nice. And then in the other corner, um, little decorative things that I like to do is this is where I'd probably get one of these. And I'd do that with like a park sort of bench that matches there we go so this is only a really little garden but bigger gardens are definitely easier to do I think like tiny ones are pretty hard um, another thing that I think just adds to it is if you line the garden like that and then just put in like little things like that so you can get to other places um, and I'm going to add, just kind of go around and wherever you think it's a little bit bare, just add a few little plants. Like, it doesn't have to be too precise or anything. Like, just that really makes that garden look a bit better in my opinion. So I'll just add those there. And then if I kind of want to put something along here, a nice, like, lining plant, these hedge flowers. So I often just sort of, like, line it with them and again I think that that looks really cute too and then you've got yeah your sweet little garden so guys that is pretty much it that is like my small home tutorial so I hope that you enjoy it I think that small homes like this aren't necessarily easier to do I think that medium sized homes and family sized homes um, are a little bit easier but I definitely wanted to show you guys what you could do with a small home so I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial I have more linked down below if you're interested thank you so much for watching and I hope to catch you all in another video bye guys